All right, football season coming up. A lot of people are going to be here on the Las Vegas Strip needing to get to Allegiant for a Raiders game. I will show you today one route how to get from Bellagio to Allegiant Stadium. No cars, no traffic, no cost either. And you're going to be inside a lot of the time. So right now, I am near the Bellagio Buffet. And the time I will put on the screen uh, every step of the way. I will show you the time. It's not incredibly fast, but no strip traffic, especially with uh, F1 going on. There's a lot of paving, a lot of lane closures. Um, no cars, and like I said, no money. So let's get going. Gonna go through the uh, main lobby, and when I get there, gonna turn right, and gonna head down the uh, hallway, and make it to the uh, tram, the Bellagio Crystals Aria tram. Okay, main lobby at Bellagio, turning right. Took uh, two or three minutes, it was 9.10, now it's 9.13. Heading right, gonna pass the conservatory, and gonna head down the hallway. At the end of the hallway, you're only gonna have one choice, gonna turn left. I'll show you when I get there. Follow the signs for the tram if you get lost. Okay, end of the hallway, you get to this uh, juice store that most people don't know about, and you get to the Bellagio Patisserie, and you have no choice but to go left. And if you must know, I usually cut through this uh, gift shop that no one ever, ever seems to buy anything from. Another left when you get to Harvest, this fancy restaurant. No choice but to go left. And at the end of this hallway is uh, an escalator up to the tram platform. Signs for the tram. You could go straight through Fedara. I'm gonna go right, and I'm gonna go up to the tram. All right, a lot of people mess this up. You get to the tram platform, top of the escalator. There's that side, number one. There's this side, number two. And this sign will tell you where the next one is coming, on the right side or the left side. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's pointing to the right. And then these signs on top will tell you how long of wait. Next one arrives in two minutes. All right, the tram got here. It is 9.19, took me nine minutes to get on the tram, including the wait for the tram since I left the uh, Bellagio Buffet. And just to let you know, I'm gonna take this all the way to the other end. It's uh, only two stops. I'm gonna get off at Aria. So I'll see you over there. All right, got off the tram. It is 9:24. Got to get downstairs, and uh, barely been outside. But I'll get to more to that later. Um, this tram is free. It's an MGM amenity. All the stops are MGM properties. Uh, I started at Bellagio, stopped at Crystals and then Crystal slash Vidara, and then just got off at Aria. So no cost to anyone ever. It is not 24 seven, but no cost to anyone ever to ride the tram. Going from outside to inside, going into kind of Aria. Left would be Aria. I'm going right down the escalator to Park MGM. There's gonna be a left turn. You really can't get lost here. But there's this hallway I'm in right now between Aria and Park MGM. Just follow it, and eventually you'll get to the casino floor at Park MGM. Okay, this hallway's finally ending. I'm getting to the casino floor. Um, from this perspective, from getting off this hallway, it is back right. That's gonna be the uh, exit towards New York, New York. If you like the directions on a compass, it is the southeast corner of the property. But get to that corner of the casino floor and exit towards New York, New York. Just stay to the right, walk through the casino games, the table games, walk through the slot machines, and at the end of the building, there will be a hallway towards New York, New York. All right, before you get to the end, which is Italy, turn right here at the bathroom sign. As I cross the street, it's 9.31. 
look at least one way. And so far, I think I've only been outside for about two minutes when I was waiting on the uh, tram platform. And I'm outside right now for another minute or two. So it's summer, it's really hot out. You're gonna be inside most of the way or you're going to a game in December maybe. It's very cold out. You're gonna be inside most of the way. So not outdoors much at all. A lot of people will just go to the sidewalk from Bellagio and walk, just walk down the sidewalk, be outside the entire time. You can almost always just walk through the casinos. So here's the entrance to New York, New York and just gonna walk through and uh, cross the street, get to Excalibur. New York, New York isn't very big. Just uh, get through the restaurants, which you'll hit first, get to the casino floor, and look for the uh, escalators. That'll take you up to the second floor. You'll come up right near the uh, food court. Over there, you can see off in the distance, there's a pizza place up top. That's at the top of the escalator. Uh, gotta find the escalator towards the uh, left side. Found the escalator. And at the top of the escalator, left would get you to MGM, but no, I'm gonna go right, and that'll get me to the bridge to cross over Tropicana to get me to Excalibur. Doors to outside, and this is the bridge I just mentioned. crossing over Tropicana Avenue right now. <laughs> Sign says everything I was saying. Gonna go left to the tram. Okay, brief intermission for me. I got to the tram platform at 9.37. It doesn't open till 10 o'clock though, so it's taken 27 minutes to get from the Bellagio Buffet to the tram platform, and once I get over there after it opens, I'll start our timing again, and uh, so far it's taken 27 minutes, and we'll see how long it takes to get from the tram platform down to Allegiant, and it's 27 minutes. On to the tram. the tram to the right is the escalator down to the casino floor at Mandalay down the escalator into Mandalay uh, right side stay stay to the right the right ish area and there will be signs for a legion let's go right past this tattoo shop so go right past the house of blues where I hear Santana plays every once in a while. And to the right, you'll see escalators. The escalators would take you up towards the uh, mall slash food court that connects Mandalay and Luxor. But gonna pass by the escalators. And there's a sign here, walkway to a legion. I've actually never walked here. This is the first time ever. So we'll see what it's like together. All right, escalators aren't working, but here's the street. All right, this is the intersection of Mandalay Bay Road, which is running this way, and Luxor Drive, which is running that way. And just gonna stay going west on the sidewalk. I have the walk sign. This guy's gonna try to kill me. All right, maybe not. I do have the walk sign. And just gonna stay on the sidewalk. And can't see it right now, but Allegiant is very close. Walking west on the sidewalk. When I get around the building, I will be able to see Allegiant. And that's Allegiant, the black building. It's a little closer than it seems through the camera, but there it is. So this road, Mandalay Bay Road, I'm walking west on the sidewalk on Mandalay Bay Road right now on game days. No cars. Um, this section of it between Mandalay and Allegiant, um, no cars at all. Only, only walking, so I mean it's pretty safe now, but there are gonna be a lot of people walking on game days, so too many to just fit on the sidewalk. And uh, you could walk on the street, no cars. All right, making it to the corner of Hacienda and Allegiant Stadium Way. Uh, I understand at the end you're gonna be outside, there's no way around that, but most of the way from Bellagio to Mandalay was indoors, so that's good for uh, climate control purposes. All right, it's 10.20. 
So it took me 27 minutes to get from Bellagio to the tram platform at Excalibur. And then from getting on the tram at Excalibur to here, right in front of Allegiant Stadium, that's Allegiant Stadium, uh, 12 more minutes. So 27 plus 12, cosine 30, if I convert to radians because it's more difficult, um, 39 minutes. So I'm uh, checking in at like 5'8", 240 or something like that. I'm not a marathon runner. I wasn't speed walking. 39 minutes. So um, I don't know, you might think that's quick. You might think it's too long, but I will tell you it costs zero because both trams cost zero to everybody ever. Also, up until these last uh, eight minutes or so, I was indoors almost the entire time. So uh, there you have it. No dollars, no strip traffic, um, a combination of walking and trams. There is no traffic when you're walking. There is no traffic on the trams. And it took 39 minutes to get from Bellagio to Allegiant Stadium where you could watch the Raiders probably lose a lot of games because it's a very difficult division. So there you have it. Uh, directions on the screen. If you want to uh, jot them down, take a picture of the screen, uh, do whatever you want. Hope this was very helpful. And I have other videos like this coming uh, in the future, not just to Allegiant, all over the strip.